Hello and welcome back to my video series about manifolds. And as always, before we start, first I want to thank all the nice people who support this channel on Steady, via PayPal or by other means. Now in today's part 9, we can finally talk about the definition of a manifold. More precisely, I will explain what locally Euclidean means. Indeed, this will capture the idea that a manifold is locally, in some sense, flat. However, before we go into the details there, let's first list the three properties a manifold has. First of all, it should be a topological space, so a set X together with a topology T. Moreover, the first property tells us that this is a Hausdorff space. There, please recall, the Hausdorff property guarantees that we have enough open sets to separate points. On the other hand, we have the property second countable, which tells us that we don't have too many open sets. So here please recall, this property ensures that we have a countable base of the topology. Okay, so these two properties we have already discussed in the previous videos, and now we can finally include the last and third property. This is locally Euclidean, and indeed, in our intuition, this will be the crucial property of a manifold. Therefore, we will use this video here to explain this term. Okay, now these three properties together define a manifold, more precisely a so-called topological manifold. Later you will see, we have manifolds with even more structure. However, what we always have is a fixed dimension n, therefore we should include this here. So you see, we speak of locally Euclidean of a dimension n in the natural numbers. And for this reason, we also say we have an n-dimensional manifold. Okay, so now you know the definition, and then I would say, let's talk about the term locally Euclidean. As I already told you, this should be the essential property of a manifold. Now, a typical visualization for a manifold can look like this. As you can see, this is a donut in the three-dimensional space, and we want to talk about the surface of it. So the surface should be our topological space Xt. Now, on the other hand, we have the Euclidean space, which is Rn. And of course, Rn should carry the standard topology given by the Euclidean metric. Okay, so here you should see, Euclidean of dimension n means that this space Xt is related to Rn with the standard topology. And the suitable term we have in topology would be the notion of a homomorphism. So if we have a map from X to Rn that is continuous and bijective such that the inverse is also continuous, then we call the two spaces here homeomorphic. Now, in this example, when we think of the surface of the donut here and R2 on the right hand side, we quickly see there can't be such a map. And of course, we don't need that, because we want the property only locally. Or to say it more precisely, this means when we fix a point here on the left hand side, we can zoom in such that it looks like R2. Or in general, we would say we find an open neighborhood for this point here. And then we have an homeomorphism to an open set on the right hand side. And indeed, this is the important property we call locally Euclidean. Therefore, I would say, let's formulate this with a definition. So the following definition can hold for any topological space Xt. And we call it locally Euclidean of dimension n if the following holds. For each point x of the set x, we find an open neighborhood. So you know, by definition, this is an open set that contains the point x. And maybe a good name for this set would be u. And moreover, we also find an open set on the right hand side in Rn. And then the claim is that we find a homeomorphism we call H. So this is a nice continuous map that sends our open set U to an open set on the right hand side. And this one we just call U prime. So you see, this is all we want when we find such a one to one correspondence for all points in the topological space we have a locally Euclidean space. And moreover, such an homomorphism H is then called a chart. 
So what you should see here is with such a chart, we are able to calculate on the manifold. Not globally, but locally. So more concretely, we can translate all the points here to Rn, calculate here, and then translate back. How we exactly do this, we will discuss soon. However, maybe I can already give you an idea how we can add structure to this topological space. Also here, I want to take a donut again for the visualization. However, please don't forget, this just represents the abstract concept here. Okay, so you already know, locally we can describe the space here. In other words, with a map H, we find coordinates. They are just given in the common space Rn. However, now we know we have such open sets U for any point on the manifold. Hence, it can happen that we have an overlap between two sets U and V. And maybe here we call the corresponding chart for V just K. Of course, this picture here can look similarly to H, but now we see we have clued the charts together. And of course, this cluing here is what we need to describe the overall structure of X. Now what you should see here is, the description in U prime and V prime could be totally different, but on the overlap, they should describe the same thing in X. In other words, we could ask, what is the coordinate transformation here from the left hand side to the right hand side? So we get a new map we call a transition map. And maybe for the moment, let's call it omega. Hence, omega is a well-defined map from this open set to this open set. However, important to note here is, both sets here are subset of Rn. Hence, the abstract space X is not involved anymore. Therefore, for this map omega, we can use our normal calculation rules in Rn. And for example, for this map we can ask if it's differentiable. So you should see, the notion differentiability didn't make sense for the maps H and K in this abstract formulation here. However, now for this transition map, it makes sense. And indeed, this is what we need to do to get more structure on the manifold. However, that's a topic for another video. Therefore, I really hope that I see you in the next video. Have a nice day and bye.